hi hello welcome back to my channel today's video is just a live update video um my voice has kind of gone again i'm not really <clears throat> sure why um it just seems to like not like me very much and i'm sorry my hair's a little bit like haphazardly curled i just couldn't get the i've just had it cut obviously as you can tell and like the i my way of curling my long hair does not work with my short hair well short hair comparatively short hair so it looks a bit kind of funny um it's just been cut like i'm not really sure what the vibe is with this but we're just gonna have to stick with it for this video until i figured it out but today's video is basically a life update video which i feel like i owe you guys for sure obviously i don't owe you guys like telling you everything that's going on in my life but I had just disappeared for a month which is not unfair of me because it's my channel and like I can upload when I want but also I want to talk to you about it and I want to do a couple of videos kind of explaining because if I'm honest with you oh my god I'm not gonna cry in this video I'm not 2019 has been a really really rough year for me I think you can probably tell from a lot of my videos um, that I've just not really been myself and that when I have like been getting better I, I've never quite sort of got better better and i want to do a couple of it all oh, my life i've literally decided to pick the time where the sun keeps going in and out and i'm so so sorry about that but i just wanted to do a couple of videos about um just everything so this video is basically a life update about like me personally and what is going on with this channel what has been going on what will be going on and i'm also going to do a video about first year at uni because the last video i did about that was um, oh my gosh, it was Michaelmas, right? And obviously in Michaelmas was a lot different to Hillary and Trinity terms in terms of how I was feeling and how I found them and what was going on. So that's that. But today's video is kind of just a where we're at sort of video. It's a difficult thing for me to talk about without getting upset, but I'm gonna try not to. So as you know, if you've watched me for any length of time, I'm at Oxford studying German and Spanish. I finished my exams on the 28th of June so a few days ago now and um yeah so I finished those exams and they were rough I'm not going to talk about them too much in this video because I want to put that in my like Oxford University video they were difficult the actual exams themselves were not like incredibly incredibly difficult they I mean they were hard and harder than A levels but they were just compounded by everything that was going on which is what I kind of want to explain in this video so I stopped daily vlogging in Trinity and I did tell everybody you know why that I was saying I said in um, the last vac that my mental health was not great and it wasn't and um, I thought that it was because I was daily vlogging I thought it was because I was not eating properly because I was not daily vlog because I was daily vlogging because I wasn't going to the gym because 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 I had a huge list of reasons of why I was feeling so down and why I was feeling just so I can't explain, I was just feeling so, so, so down all the time, um, just really empty, not great. Um, it turns out it wasn't any of that sort of thing. I am so glad that I didn't vlog last term because it was a really difficult one for me. Okay, my face is now really red and blotchy, I was trying to talk and I got upset, but we're back, I'm going to say it again. Okay, I'm going to do this without crying, this is ridiculous, I've cried enough over the last six, seven, eight weeks to literally fill the river nile like i cannot explain but we're not gonna do that in this video because it's positive now like we're getting places so basically let me start again um trinity started it was happening it was okay for a little bit and i i got back i got back first week i got back i said to my somebody in my family i just mentioned it like i'm really not feeling right like something's not right I should be happy, I am at an amazing university, I have amazing friends, you know, like, everything is going right for me, um, I should be happy, and I'm not, like, I don't feel happy ever, and I kind of just brushed it off, because I was like, I just think I was being, like, ungrateful, I was like, oh, you're just always being negative, like, you're being such a negative ninny, whatever, and I just kind of was like, it's my term, like, Trinity's gonna be the best term, it's summer, like, who cares about exams, like, all of this, I was like, I'm gonna have a good time. The ball came, the ball went, the ball was amazing, um, and that was kind of the last time I really posted on my Instagram before everything kind of just started to go downhill. After the ball, um, a lot of stuff was happening, like, a lot of stuff, um, f for me personally, with people in my life, like, 
my friends were having a lot of difficulties too. Um, I was having a lot of difficulties and things just started to fall apart. And then there are things that I don't want to talk about on this channel, things that I've decided to keep private, things that I will never share, like never have shared on any social media, have tried to keep off social media um, because it's not my place to share some of the things, all of the things. Oh, I, basically stuff happened and it happened and it happened fast and it happened quickly and I was not in a mental state to be dealing with the things that were happening. Had they happened when I was better and when I was doing okay, I think I would have found it a lot easier, but I didn't find it easy at all. Um, so the term was still going and I was trying, you know, I was trying to just carry on and I kept every morning I'd wake up and I'd feel rubbish, I'd feel horrible and I would blame it on any number of factors, on the personal things that were happening to me, on myself, I'd be like, why can't you just be happy? Like, you need to get over X, Y, Z that's happened to you, like, you need to move on. And everyone was saying to me, like, Eve, you just, like, you need to stop worrying, like, you worry so much. And it got to the point where I was worrying, like, incessantly, like, it was, it was every day, like, all day, every day. Sorry, my battery died, so I think the angle's probably changed, but hopefully it's okay so yeah as i was saying um things were happening and exams were happening at the same time as these things and i literally felt like i had exams like coming towards me like very quickly and that i couldn't focus on my exams and whenever i've had an issue in the past i have always 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 just worked like my like i just i just threw myself into academia because that's the thing that i could do that's the thing that i could focus on that's the thing that i was good at that's the thing that i could control and i felt so out of control for so much of last term that i i literally cannot explain to you like it was just really difficult for me um and so term just keeps going and things like fell out like i was like I'm, tr I'm in control, like, I'm in control of the situation because I would just talk about it to everybody, like, about everything that was happening with me, like, I would just talk it over and talk it over and talk it over because I was trying to rationalise and to make sense, but it soon became clear to me that, like, I was catastrophizing, and I'm a catastrophizer, but it was, like, new levels of catastrophization. I was coming up with scenarios about things that weren't right about everything like you name it anything that i felt like was not right in my life like i would literally be catastrophizing it and i couldn't do anything else like i couldn't i couldn't sit and revise for more than like 20 minutes without just not like something would start nagging on my mind and that would be it and it would be constant and it would just be this like voice that would just not go away i've always been a warrior like and i always will be um, but it got just so loud and <laughs> like loud basically it got loud my brain just got really freaking loud and really freaking scary um, and just not a nice place to be for me every day so that really started to scare me but I still was just like it's because of the personal circumstances it's because of everything that's going on with you and there was a lot there was so many different things that like nobody like i don't think anyone like kind of knows the whole story apart from like maybe two or three people um in my life because there was just so many different things all at the same time and things with my friends and everything in my family that all just sort of and i couldn't like it i just couldn't do it um and i I just, I'm not one to ask for help for things, I'm not, I just get on with things because I'm Eve and you guys all know me as, you know, like Eve, she like gets her stuff done, like she's really motivated, she's really forward thinking and I got stuck in such a rut where I just was not enjoying myself, like I would be sat with my friends and I'd just be worrying or like thinking and ruminating about things that I couldn't control and I felt so, so out of control, so, so just like every day, like I was just beating myself up for the uh, my inability to control myself and i tried to cope with that by like talking to people about my problems thinking that i'd be able to solve them um without actually facing up to the fact that like like I, I was not coping with them the way that any normal person would um and it didn't help that some of the people in my life who i've always classed as quite close friends for like quite a few years just weren't really there for me when I needed them like 
I am always, I try to be there for everybody and this sadly was a time in my life where a lot of things were going wrong for a lot of people in my life at the same time and I was trying, like I really did try, you know, like to just be there and to check up on people and I'm a peer supporter at college as well so I was trying to help people at college too and I love helping people and I find it really therapeutic and I want to be there for my friends when they need me and I was and suddenly I just needed, a, I needed help, I needed help and a lot of people in my life who I really always was just like you'll be there for me like of course they would be just didn't seem to care or made me feel like what I was saying and like was annoying or that they didn't want to hear it and it got to the point where I just didn't want to talk because I was like everyone is finding me annoying I'm sick of hearing myself talk I'm sick of hearing myself think I'm sick of myself so like no one else is going to want to hear it if you know what I mean so I was like well I'm not going to tell anybody because it's just I'm not I'm just not going to mention it and that was how it went for the first maybe five six five weeks of term it was five weeks was it five weeks yeah and then I ran for JCR president and that was something that I've always wanted to do like I always I like being in leadership position do you guys know this I was a deputy head girl at school like blah 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 um and I was like of course I'm gonna run for JCR president and everyone was like Eve like we think you'd make a great president like you should definitely run and everyone at college was like yeah go on and because I hadn't really told anyone about what was going on with me like nobody knew enough to be like Eve you probably shouldn't and I kind of knew that I shouldn't run for JCR president like I knew that that was a bad idea but I wanted to do it and I wanted to be JCR president and I think for me I was like if I can just get a win like if I can just do something I can get that I can control um, and that I can put my energy into then I can somehow prove to myself that my life is not a complete mess so I ran and that was a two week really intense campaign I did no like academic work for most of that time and I lost and I didn't lose by much and it wasn't like a big defeat and like everyone in college was really lovely about it and I got loads of messages being like you would have been a great president and the person who is going to be president is insane, incredible, amazing and will make the best president and I literally was so sure that I would be okay with it like I was like I'm gonna run and I know that my life is just not great at the moment I'm not feeling great and I'm not doing well so maybe this could help me and when I didn't get it I was having probably one of my lowest days that I'd had in a while like I was feeling really low that day and I'd missed my essay that week because I started having like panic attacks and things which I've not had properly ever and I'd started having those and I had to email my tutor and be like I can't write an essay this week which I've never done in my life I've never missed a piece of work in my life and I had to skip an entire essay because the college nurse was like you can't you're not in a state to be doing academics right now and I put it down to the presidential campaign I was like oh it must be that like I must just be stressed about that so that end of the week uh, I was sat in my room and we were going to go to the seminar for this essay that I hadn't done and I got the message and it was like you haven't like you know the other person won and I that was it like I, I think it was just a tipping point for me I completely just broke down and that was when I just had to admit that I was not okay and it was a really difficult thing for me to do and it's a really difficult thing for me to do to come on here and tell you this too but I also think it would be really unfair of me to keep this from you purely because my channel is based on revision, it's based on exams, it's based on studying, it's based on what it's like to be a student essentially and I would, I just think you need to know, like you need to know that it's not great all the time and that I'm not great all the time and that I have really struggled this year in many many ways it's been a great year as well but i've really struggled and for me to just project this image of eve is amazing like eve does everything so well would be so unfair and would be lying to you essentially and setting up false expectations for you as students that you shouldn't have because it's difficult university is difficult mental health is difficult and this is why i'm telling you this now i'm not sure how much of this i'm going to edit out but I'm trying to make a, 
a, a vague degree of sense without trying to sound like a drama queen either because I understand that everybody ha like so many people have it so much worse than me but I just want to explain uh, yeah okay so that day I just that was it for me and I had to admit and I had to say to someone like I'm not doing okay and thankfully although I feel like I've realized that a lot of my closest friends are not my closest friends and that I can't rely on them and that they're not there which was heartbreaking for me and has been really difficult to deal with along with everything else my university friends were without a doubt like the most supportive people and the college were so supportive and I finally messaged one of my close family members who had been sort of like helping me the most with all of this and I just said I think I need help and my entire family were like we have been waiting for you to say this for quite some time because we've known that you've not been okay um but we've not wanted to you had to come to that realization yourself and it felt so freeing to finally admit that I wasn't all right because nobody okay no I told like two people that I had been considering going to the doctors about it or considering getting help about it but that like nobody else knew so I I sat down and I said to my friends at uni I was like I'm not all right and I need to do something about this and they were like we know and we're here for you and we're gonna help you and they did and I went to like the welfare system in our college I went to the doctors I have been getting help and it's been diagnosed. I don't really want to go into like exactly what it is because that's private, that's personal, but I want you to know that like I reached out and like people didn't run away screaming like I thought they were going to. People weren't like, oh, but you're Eve, like how can you be depressed or but oh, like, like get over yourself, like it's Oxford, like that's what it's like. People weren't like that, people listened to me and people helped me get through it and a lot of my friends did say to me like the way you have been like talking about the situations that are going on with you and the way that you've been talking about yourself like has been scary and horrible to watch and I felt like it was scary and horrible to watch me descend to that point too but having reached out for help like I am getting help and I'm not better but I'm on the way to being better and I'm so proud of myself for sitting my exams um, and still revising for my exams and doing my exams given that my brain has just not cooperated for the first time in my life. For the first time in my life, academia has been difficult for me. I've found it difficult to focus. I've found it difficult to write essays. i found it difficult to memorise things and difficult to concentrate for any long period of time. Difficult to just do exams and I know exam season's always been difficult but this one was near enough impossible um but i did it and i got through it and i'm done and they're finished and i cannot wait to share my results with you guys because i don't know what they're gonna be and i know that whatever they are i'm gonna be so proud of myself for like not just not doing them because it honestly got to the point in fifth week where i was like i can't sit these exams and i did i did i sat eight three-hour exams i did it despite everything else that was going on i did it and we're here and it's summer and I hope to god that I'm on the way to sorting this out it's obviously mental health is not something that goes away it's not something you can like fix straight away and as someone that likes things to be fixed this has been a bumpy ride for me in many ways but I'm getting there and I'm on the mend and I learned I learned many things I learned a I'm a lot stronger than I think and I don't give myself enough credit for it. B, um, it's not my fault. None of this is my fault. And I have been beating myself up about how everything that's been going on with me and everything that's happened to me, like, was my fault. And I've realised that it's not. And I've realised that people come and go and that people that you trust might not be that trustworthy. And people that you think are going to be there for you might not be and I'm like it just it that's life and they could have been in your life for many many years as some of them have been and you just have to let it go and you just have to accept that that that's that's what's happening I've learned that exams aren't everything um 
for the first time I've physically not been able to put the effort into my exam that I wanted to and I realised that the world's not going to stop spinning if I don't get a first, the world's not going to stop spinning if I don't get full marks in every exam and that my mental health and my friends and my family and everything like that is way more important and I've also realised that I picked the best like like place for me if I had been anywhere else with anyone else with any other group of people I don't know if I would have been able to deal with it because I won't lie to you Trinity definitely had its highlights but honestly like most of it was just me being sad <laughs> which is annoying but it happened and I'm not gonna let it define my summer I'm not gonna let it define the rest of my time at university and I am just glad that I'm not glad that it's happened but in a way I'm glad that the personal circumstances in my life combined at the time that they did for me to finally reach out and get some help because for me to admit that I needed help took a lot of other things to happen at the same time and although they were horrible horrible things they happened and they're still happening and I learned a lot about myself in the process and this video honestly is getting to the point where I'm like this is so cheesy and I don't know if I'm gonna upload this but I feel like it needed to be spoken about because I don't feel like I can come back onto this channel and start doing like happy clappy videos when I have not been happy clappy I've been far from happy clappy in fact honestly I would probably say this January to sort of like now ha has well January February were not too bad March April May June highs yeah but mainly lows and that's okay that's life um but that's how it's been but i am out of it i am back home i have got lots planned which i'm going to tell you about now but that's basically what's going on i've tried to like not share too much but also not not share what needs to be shared for you to understand and i just hope that you don't see this as like I don't know like me trying to be like oh my god where is me like I have it so hard like I just wanted to be honest with you because I've grown up on this channel this channel and you guys have like watched me go from 14 to like how old am I now 19 that's a long time and I've been through a lot and this is the first time where I was going through stuff and I just couldn't share it with you as it was happening because I just wasn't in an emotional place to do so and I didn't want to share things because they weren't my place to share and as much as I love you guys there are certain parts of my life that I just won't ever share with you won't ever put on any social media because that's just how it is and I'm glad that I didn't um and I will stand by that decision and yeah so that's basically what's been happening with me in a nutshell I probably have got to have missed so much so if I put in random voiceovers then I'm sorry but now on to more positive things. So summer. So I literally have three months off now. I am done with exams. I'm not only done with exams for this year. I don't have any in second year. I don't have any in third year. I don't have any more proper exams until 2022. I am done for three years, which after five years of exams is honestly, I can't explain. The feeling of euphoria I got on the day that I finished my exams was the first time I'd felt properly happy and actually felt happiness for Oh my days, I can't remember the last time I felt that happy and honestly it hasn't hit me yet that I can kind of do what I want and that I can sit and film this video and that that can take up as much time as it needs to take and that I don't need to rush and that I don't need to run off and do something else after this, I can do what I want. That's great and also in terms of plans I thought I'd tell you what I'm doing so first things first, I'm home for a week go me I'm actually in my house for more than a week I'm just catching up with friends this week doing YouTube like pre-filming um a lot and sorting my room out I basically just basically like got myself back to myself because I felt very isolated from myself and not great um Oxford is a killer it's a killer place and it takes it out of you at the best times let alone when you you have other things going on so yeah that's what I'm doing for a week on Saturday I'm going to Mallorca with my cousin which is really exciting my cousin has been if you're watching this you have been an angel and a blessing has been there for me more than anybody else um apart from my uni mates like 
amazing, stunning human being and we're going to Mallorca for five days. Um, that was a bit of a breakdown decision. I literally, it got to, <laughs> it got to the Tuesday on my second week of exams. I didn't have another exam till the Thursday and I hadn't had one for like three days and I just was so low that I was like, let's book a holiday. Um, so we're going to Mallorca for five days. I'm not going to vlog that or anything because I do just need like five days in the sun, like sipping cocktails by the pool to like reset rejig but then i'm literally home for 48 hours and then i'm going to peru for three weeks so i am volunteering for two weeks um helping like at like a nursery like a daycare um and then for two weeks we are well a week and a half nearly two weeks we are traveling um we're going to Puno, we're going to Cusco, and we're gonna like explore Lima a little bit more, like do like Machu Picchu, Lake Titicaca, like loads of the cool things in Peru. I'm gonna try and vlog. I don't know how, what, where, I might not vlog the weeks where we're volunteering, but I might vlog the weeks where we're like traveling. I am gonna try and vlog because I've missed vlogging and I don't think it would be horrible to daily vlog when I've got nothing else to be doing and I don't have exams and things and it won't be like a daily vlog, it will be like a compilation of the three weeks. So watch out for Peru vlogs hopefully unless something goes horrifically wrong but I'm hoping to vlog Peru. I'm going with my friends from university and it should be really really fun and I'm just very excited. After Peru I literally get back on the 8th or the 9th. I think I get back on the 9th. I'm going straight from Gatwick to the hotel for Summer in the City. Summer in the City this year I'm there on the Saturday, I'm there on the Sunday, like I'm just around London all weekend. I know I'm on the study tube panel. I'm not on the lineup on the website, but I have been emailed to say that they're putting me on the lineup because it was all a bit like frantic. And I'm also doing a meet and greet with Molly. I think on the Sunday, I will check. I think it's Sunday afternoon. It will be on the website, but that's gonna be good. I'm very excited for Summer in the City. I'm gonna be very jet lagged, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Then I'm home for three days and then me, Molly and Fabulous Hannah are going to Portugal for four days. We booked that ages ago. That's literally just like another nice little like chill break. Uh, then I'm back for three days and then I'm going to Wales um, with like my friends from university, like my floor who have literally been my rocks this term. If you are watching, not even this term, this year, I adore you. Um, yeah, we're going to Wales for four days, like just to chill. And then I'm back for three days. And then I'm going to Berlin for a month. Like, basically I got a government scholarship to go and do a language course in central Berlin for an entire month in September. I'm terrified, but I'm also very excited. I also know it's gonna be really, really good for me to be able to get a language qualification that allows me to get an internship for my year abroad. And also good practice at living abroad for an extended period of time because obviously I'm literally gonna be living abroad for a year in third year, so that's that. So that's basically my summer. So this summer I think is gonna be mainly a mixture of chatty videos that are not really that school like university related. I've got a couple of university ones I wanna do, but mainly just sort of like life updates, vlogs, videos with other people, like just gonna be it's gonna be a new time on this channel. I honestly my life is at such a crossroads at the moment and everything is kind of just so up in the air that I am just proud of myself for even uploading a video and being here. I'm so sorry I've been gone for a month, but I hope now you have watched this video, you kind of understand why. It's been very long. I don't know if anyone's actually sat all the way through this. If you have, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. To summarise, I hope that that kind of explains a lot. I feel like it might explain a lot about my social media presence. Um, and obviously you're not ever gonna know everything in my life and very few people watching this video will know like what's been going on. Um, and there's been a lot of things, a lot of different factors, but I wanted to share what I could without like incriminating other people or incriminating like myself, not incriminating like, you know what I mean. Um, and also summer's gonna be great. Um, stay tuned for new videos, hopefully a bit more exciting this time than me crying about exams. Um, and yeah, that's everything. I can't believe I cried in this video. I don't remember the last time I, okay, no, I cried for a bit in like my vlogs and stuff, but I don't remember the last time I cried in a sit down video actually, but it was needed and I hope you understand and I hope this video has cleared up a lot of stuff for you. It's been so long and so incoherent, but things like when your life is a mess, like you trying to explain your life is also going to be a mess. So yeah, but basically that's that. I'm sick of hearing myself speak at this point, but 
I hope you enjoyed and comment down below if you've got any requests. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and I promise I'm not this much of a mess in most of my videos. Yeah, okay, I'll see you later. Bye guys. Mwah.